Libras, today I'm doing your general reading for August 2019. This will be the main deck that I'll be pulling from. This will be the clarifying deck, and this is the love oracle message deck. The only way I'll be pulling from that deck is if your general reading will be leaning towards more of a love reading. Okay, Libras, let's just go ahead and get into you guys' readings here. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, ancestors. Please come in and give me an accurate, precise reading, general reading for the zodiac sign of Libra for August 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's go ahead and go with these cards here. All right, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. So you're not trying to let something go here, Libra, or something is not trying to let you go. So you have a hold on something or something has a hold on to you. All right, Libra, so let me just go ahead and lay out the rest of the cards here, and then we'll be going from there. Okay, you have the Lover's card that came out. Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. The Emperor. The Fool. Six of Cups. Okay. So, Libras, I'm going to tell you now, this is definitely turning to a love reading, but let's just go ahead and keep going. Even though this is a love reading that's turning out for your general reading, I'm still going to do you guys love readings. Uh... For the first half of August and the second half of August, I can't help it if the spirit, and you can't help it either if the spirit is want to bring you a love reading for your general reading. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just keep going with it. You have the Temperance Libra, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune here. Someone, I don't even have to concentrate and just soak it up because it just hit me just like that, Libra's. Someone from your past is coming back to you to reconcile with you or vice versa. Just take it how it fits. You could be going back to this person. Someone is definitely coming back to you from the past from with the Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands here. Someone is either contacting you. You're going to get communication through messages, emails, phone calls, or a visit to where you stay, work, whatever. Someone is coming back to reconcile here. They're taking the leap of faith here to do that with the full card. Someone is definitely coming back to you, uh, Libras. Are you coming back to someone? But I'm going to read it as if someone is coming back to you. And whoever this person is, whoever this person is, they cannot let you go here with the four of pentacles. You have a hold on them. They cannot let you go no matter what. They're coming back here with the eight of pentacles to work on this relationship, to get this lover's union back. They're definitely coming back to you to get this relationship back going. Whoever this person is, I feel like they matured in their life and leveled up as the emperor. They're taking control now. They're coming in. They're taking that leap of faith. They're coming towards you because they want this relationship with you guys. They they thought about it with the temperance card. They took time to think about if this is what they want to do. They were real patient you know, and took their time before they came back to you with this offer and they realized this is what they want to do here. They do want to come out and come towards you with this leap of faith to get this Six of Wands connection back here. Because it's going towards a fortunate period. You're going through another phase in your love life and this person is coming back to you. It's a new beginning coming in your love life with this person. Or this person is trying to come in to get this new beginning in love with you. I mean, it's up to you, uh, Libras, how you take it. But it could be you giving this offer as well. Let me pull some love messages here. I mean, uh, the clarifying deck first. I'm sorry. Just to see what other um, messages that the Spirit is trying to give us. Please give me... Any other messages, any other cards here? Clarifying cards. Okay, you have the High Priestess for Libra for August 2019 for Gemini. Okay. All right, we're going to 
go with these cards here. You have the Wheel of Fortune again. That flew out. So, yo, this... I feel like you guys are going to get back together, most definitely. The Wheel of Fortune. There's a new fortunate period that you guys are transitioning in, in your love life here, when this person comes back. This person has been holding this in for a while, that they wanted to come back to you. You didn't know. You honestly thought it was over, or this person thought it was over between you two. Yeah, this person, you got to hold on this person here with the Devil card. The devil and four pentacles. Like, there is a hold here. This person is somewhat, like, addicted to you, Libras, or vice versa. You are addicted to them. You have the ten of cups. So, this is, like, a happy soulmate union, marriage even, maybe engagement. But this person is definitely coming back to be with you. I feel like this person has been watching you. You have the page of, page of swords. Maybe watching your social, social media or vice versa. You probably was watching this person in this person's social media. But even though you guys had stopped talking, you guys had broken up, you thought it was over or they thought it was over. They never, the person never really stopped watching you, watching what you had going on. They were still following you through your social media. And that's what I'm picking up here, Libras. Because they see you as the queen of coins. They see you as high value. They see you as someone that they want to be in this deep committed relationship with. Okay. Let me pull love oracle messages just to see if there's any messages that the spirit wants to give us here, Libras. Is there any love messages for the sign of Libra for August 2019? Okay. It's three cards slid to this way. Wow. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, you have codependency, addictions, or affecting your romantic life. So, like I said, I feel like this person is addicted to you. I don't pick up in a bad, obsessive, like, well, I don't know. It could be because you do have the page of swords where this person was watching you. I don't know, Libras. I mean, I don't know if it's you giving out this vibe where you watching them and you're addicted to them. Or if it's vice versa. If you know, but I'm doing it as if this person is addicted to you. I mean, only you can feel if it's healthy or not. But it says pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So when this person comes back, I feel like you have a good intuition of where you could pick up if you need to move on with this person or not or leave them in the past. But it does say it's here. You have two wedding cards. Okay. It says wedding. This situation involves marriage. So this person, like I said, is coming back for a deep commitment here. I see that here. You have the Ten of Cups. This person is definitely coming back for a deep commitment. And then you have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So this person is coming in back to get you back. Or are you coming back to this person? And you are very serious about this person. So deep to where you want marriage with this individual. Because you realize you cannot let them go. You never let them go. Or they never let you go since the breakup. You guys thought it was over. But in one of the other person's head, they knew it wasn't over. They knew they had to get their self together, Libras, in order to come back to you to get this wedding. To get this retreat. But whoever it is that's on the receiving end of this offer, they just need to pay attention to the red flags here. Pay attention before you say, yes, I marry you or I do. Okay? All right, Libras. If this resonates with you guys, don't hesitate to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be blessed.